All right, Max, The Curse of Brotherhood. This is a game that's uh, on Xbox One. It actually went with Games for Gold recently. So it's a free game right now if you're paying for your Xbox Live. And um, it's actually, judging as right now, it looks like a pretty cool game. Look at the nice little animation. I mean, we start off with a... Uh, uh, wait. Is that fucking Sonic the Hedgehog? Rolling around at the speed of sound. So we go upstairs as our Sonic the Hedgehog self to find our brother, I believe, playing with our toys and completely destroying them. So what do you do as probably like a 10 year old boy? Well you go to giggle.com and you figure out how to rid yourself of your brother. And let's just see what happens next. I'm I'm sorry. I sh I should I should turn the game off. I'm t I'm off. I'm done. That's it. What? Did he seriously just a freaking claw just popped out of the wall and squashed his brother? So what's he do? Of course he jumps in the portal that came out of nowhere to go and save his brother. I mean, you gotta be careful with the I'm feeling lucky button. Giggle.com is clearly a dangerous place. So, basically the entire objective of this game is to save your brother from these terrible beings that you have no clue what the hell's going on with. I mean, it's weird, but this is what's happening. Alright, so after we go through this portal, we're finally in control of the gameplay. And right away, we get to see the amazing gameplay and controls and feel for this game with this jump anime. Is this what I'm in control of? I- it, He's jumping like it's, it's not that bad, but I mean, really? Really? Right away, we're thrown into what's the basic elements of the gameplay. I mean, we get to see a little bit of hints for what's going on in the background, but really, we get to see that we're going to be doing a lot of jumping and some sliding and a lot of climbing. And as far as the climbing goes, Max is a fucking beast. I mean, climbing is really hard. Like, have you climbed a rope before? Especially one that's tied to really shitty old wood? That's impressive. So we just do a lot more climbing just like this and I mean like ladders, swinging on ropes and your basic stuff and there's kind of mini puzzles and wait what? <laughs> is that is there an animation for me running into a wall? But there isn't an animation for me jumping? Really? It it looks better when I run into a wall than when I jump up by the wall. I'm kind of nitpicking here, but really I mean, jumping animations were always just important to me, because honestly, in real life, no one jumps. People don't just jump. So if it looks good in a video game, it looks good, but that, I mean, it's a cartoon. Just get over it. Finally, back to the story, we get to see that the person carrying our brother away is actually a giant head modeled over Hugh Jackman. Clearly, this is Hugh Jackman. I mean, Wolverine claws are going to just pop out of nowhere. This, it's, it, it's him. It might as well be him. I mean, it's Sonic the Hedgehog meets with Hugh Jackman. It's the perfect confrontation. We got speed versus metal claws. I, it's, I, this is what, uh, I don't even know what's going on anymore. All right, so Hugh Jackman chases us. We go through some bullshit like this rock squashing us right here. And it finally takes us to the first impressing part of this game. And it really shows how beautiful this engine actually is. I mean, this is completely amazing. This is the kind of thing I really like to see in video games. I don't know what it is. I can just, it's just cool. So basically we try to climb this big rock mountain thing and then the game starts to disappoint me again. Up you go, Max. I'll tell you how to save the <laughs> This monstrosity is sitting at the top of this tree and she asks you to hand you your weapon. I, I, it sounds a little bit messed up, but I mean, you know, you give her a marker and she says she'll put her soul into the marker, which then causes the entire tree slash rock thing to explode. And now you have a magical pen. The storyline, the plot, it defeats Call of Duty. I mean, Call of Duty had the best story just Mmm, too good. 
this is where the actual game starts to begin. We now have to solve puzzles with this new magical pen, making basically giant logs of shit appear out of the ground in places where we're allowed to. The puzzles can actually be kind of complex. Some of them are hard, some are challenging. It's actually a pretty fun game. I mean, it looks pretty good. Aside from the intro, the game's pretty good. I would actually rate it pretty high if I knew how to rate things properly. Like, thumbs up, thumbs five stars. That's six out of seven cows. That's good game. There's one thing I do need to explain to me though. This game seems like it's based towards children. However, they keep throwing crazy shit at us like this. And like that. Like, what is going on? Why? This game is terribly morbid. I've already thrown up due to the crazy grandma, and now I've shat my pants because it's completely terrifying. I could probably have a better time gouging out my own eyeballs and then, like, playing this game. It's a good game, but why do you have to ruin it with crazy evil stuff? I'm just a little kid. Okay? I just want to play on my Xbox, and I, I want my, my milk, and my teddy bear, and my lollipop. Please? 